guys, my name's Adam Cooper and for my Halifax, if you're new to the channel, we make videos about all the things you can do in and around Halifax. So if there's an event or a place or a business that you think people should know about, please let us know in the comments below. And for this week's episode, we've come and we're doing something really cool I've never done before. We've come to Top Bar Honey Bee Co, where they actually breed bees and sell some great honey products. So we're gonna check them out. So Corey's just geared us up and we're about to go and open one of the hives so we can actually take a look at it. But I just want Corey to spend a bit of time explaining to you the purpose of the hive, the design, and basically why people should, you know, come and take a look at this place. Awesome. Well, thanks a lot for coming out today, Adam. You're welcome. Um, so here in Bedford, Nova Scotia, I own and operate uh, Top Bar Honey Bee Co. I started keeping bees three years ago and it turns into a hobby and then it becomes a love and a passion. Mm -hmm. And that passion has, um, brought me into the business where I want to share that with other people. When I first started doing my research three years ago, um, I wanted a hive, one that I could build myself, um, didn't have any environmental impact with plastics or anything like that. And finding this hive is called the Kenya Top Bar Hive. It was designed in Guelph, Ontario at the university and it's for third world countries. So no matter where you are in the world, you can keep this Top Bar Hive. The nice thing is it's a one box method. There's no heavy lifting, so if you get uh, seniors or younger people or you know people that might have physical disabilities it's just a one box um, it's the same uh, height as your kitchen counter at home and again there's no plastics so when you're done with the hive or the life of the hive is over it just goes back into the earth the bees uh, have a space to to live uh, they draw their own honeycomb so it's a natural comb they get to choose their own cell size and they get to choose um, where their food stores are and then where their young is laid. The entrance is on one end of the hive. They'll use that entrance and the air that comes in it to ventilate it, to regulate the temperature, um, and they'll keep the brood there and then the access honey goes to one end. You're from London, England, yeah. and Europe is actually a place where they don't just eat just honey out of a jar, they actually like the whole comb. Yeah, so, yeah. so people will take the comb honey uh, on their butter knife yeah. and they'll spread it right on their toast. And you get all the goodness of the cap the wax and the honey. So people don't realize that honey is a superfood. It's the only food that's created by insects that humans consume. So bees are just a wonder. And again, that's the, the passion that I have. So here at Top Bar Honey Bee Co, I build hives and I sell the hives. And I also sell a colony of bees to go in these hives. So you'll have a hard time finding uh, a nucleus colony, which is a small colony for a Top Bar hive. It's not very popular. But again, in all my research and my experience, it's kind of the best hive for urban beekeepers, backyard beekeepers, or someone that's just on a small scale that want one or two hives and don't want to break the bank or get into too fancy of a hive. The fascination of bees is they don't just produce one product, they actually produce four different products or more, depending on what you want to harvest from the hive. But the first thing bees are used for here in Nova Scotia is we're a blueberry province, and so bees are used for pollination. So by the bees going from one flower to another, uh, they exchange the X and Y chromosomes, and that creates more fruit and more flowers and more seeds. So bees provide better crops, healthier crops, by more fruit and more benefits from your plants. Then of course the honey, that is the most mm -hmm. popular thing. So the bees go uh, in the right time of year when the flowers start to push out nectar. They collect that nectar, bring it back, um, the water is extracted uh, from the hive by the bees fanning their wings and creating the right environment inside for the water to leave. And then it comes down to a higher sugar content, and that's your honey. And then the bees have wax glands on the bottoms of their bodies. And uh, that wax is used uh, for them to store their babies and for them to store their honey in as well. And that wax, um, I make lip balm, candles, beard balm, soap, all different products from the wax as well. And then there's your royal jellies, your propolis, and other products from the hive as well that have municipal purposes. We're gonna um, link Corey's website to the, the back end of the video, so you can come in, find him, and check him out, and uh, come and buy some of the products from him, because they're actually really good, and it's nice to get, always support local. And when you find that, you know, this is gonna be quite an experience, I've never experienced going to see a live beehive. To come here, you can learn about bees, because there's a lot of education, and Corey knows a hell of a lot about bees. And that way you can also come and get some honey that is actually proper honey. So thank you for your, your quick review. We're gonna go check out the honeybees now. How do you feel? I'm pretty good, I feel like a spaceman. Corey's about to open one of the um, hives so we can go and look at the bees. But there, it might be too early for them so they might get a bit mad. So we're geared up. So with a Langstroth hive, yeah. if you had the boxes, you'd have to lift off the two boxes. The top bar hive is less intrusive. 
because you're only opening a small gap at a time. So the bees will build their honeycomb down yeah. off the, the bar. You can see the girls there this morning. And then this is all honey. You see when you open it up? Yeah. The honey comes out. So they put the honey in there for the winter. But you can see like they don't yeah. they don't want to kill you. You yeah. know, like they're not attacking you, they're not beating your face. Pretty pretty gentle bees. So they want to know what's going on and they know that you know it's cold and they're being opened. Yeah. But that's the the gist of it. And lots of lots of bees. You see, I'm not blasting them with smoke either. Yeah. I, yeah. Just, I just have enough smoke wafting over top of the hive that they get the idea. So the purpose of the bread knife is sometimes they will attach the combs to the side yeah. of the hive. And so you just reach in and you just cut the comb free. And they use a propolis. So this product that you see along the top of the bars, yeah, uh, it's called propolis. They get it in Nova Scotia here. It comes from the spruce trees and the evergreen trees. Um, and they use that to seal their hive up. So they control their own ventilation. So you'll see a lot of hives, um, they got all these gimmicks and gizmos for ventilation and yeah. things like that. The bees actually regulate it themselves. And then the entrance is three holes here on the front of the hive. And come winter, they'll even block up uh, the holes that they don't need. And they just leave themselves enough space to get out in the winter time. Because the bees actually won't even use the bathroom in their hive all winter. They'll wait for a nice day and then they'll fly out to use the bathroom. Bars are quite heavy. Each yeah. bar can weigh up to about seven to 10 pounds. But in keeping the bees, that's kind of the heaviest thing that you're gonna to have to lift. So yeah. that's the nice thing about these hives. And the reason that they're this height is this is the same height as your kitchen counter at home. Ah. So it's a, you know, there's no bending over, there's no heavy lifting. So that's about it. And so you're able to lift the comb up. Uh, you put the sun to your back so you can see into the cells and then you just, you can check for brood, babies, check for your queen, check your honey stores, and if there's any diseases or pests inside your hive. Like I said, there's a divider board, and that's, that way they're, they're getting ready for the winter. They only have to heat uh, the section of the hive that they're occupying. They don't have to heat the whole box. Yeah. Because here in Nova Scotia, winter's a long time for them to, they'll get into a cluster, they'll keep that cluster about 93 degrees, and then they'll just move through the hive uh, all winter, eating the honey stores. So each hive, like I said, has one queen um, and she's in there. She releases a pheromone and that's how the rest of her daughters know that this is home. This, each hive has a different scent. And one of the fun things about beekeeping is the, you know, when you open up your hive, you get that, it's kind of a lemony smell. Yeah. And uh, beekeepers, we use a lemongrass essential oil to attract bees because um, you could even catch your own bees when swarms are cast from a hive. And that was actually really cool, actually going and seeing the bees um, and Corey taking them out hive. It was kind of intimidating because they were flying around you. They didn't sting us though, they were just kind of like almost flying around to say, hey, who are you, what are you doing? It's early in the morning, stop waking me up. Um, but that was really cool and it looks like it's actually quite a simple design. So I feel like most people that were kind of interested could actually just buy one and then just kind of let it do its thing. Um, Corey's just gonna grab some of the stuff that they sell and which we're gonna show you now. We do open up the bee yard on certain days. So yep. we, we announced it on our Facebook page because nice. um, there is a lot of popularity. Um, so this is the honey. Uh, I can proudly say it's award-winning honey. We went in a contest this year in, here in the Maritimes and we took home second place. Um, honey is great because when you go on vacation in different places, the floral regions are all different and yeah. so all honeys will taste different. So it's kind of a fun product, a unique product. If you're traveling or uh, you're here local and you want to something that's right from the community where you're visiting or where you live, um, honey is a great gift to give to people as well. So we have honey usually sold by the pound. Um, I also make soap so you know you can put honey and uh, wax. I use a goat's milk and so it's a pure all natural uh, soap that you can use and then of course we pour our we take the wax we use a solar melter to melt it down because you can't get wax too hot or else it ruins the goodness in the enzymes. Beeswax is one of the only wax that actually purifies the air so as you burn a beeswax candle um, the electrons, ions go off in, they grab a hold of the dust particles in the air and it drops it to the floor. So it purifies your air. It also burns brighter and longer. Yeah. So even though you'll find that uh, beeswax candles are a little more expensive than the paraffin mm -hmm. wax candles, um, there, it's for a good reason because yeah. it is better for you as well. And then uh, I also make lip balm as well. So it's 
you know, all natural again to put on your lips, keep your lips nice and moist in the uh, the winter times here yeah. in uh, the great uh, country of Canada. <laughs> um, but it's used all over to protect your lips and things like that. So, you know, just a few products that we produce here. And like I said, we open up our bee yard on specific days. We announce it on our Facebook page. And um, feel free to drop out. Yeah, I mean, I can say having been here and uh, had the tour and had the high access in open hive, it is pretty cool and it's, it, you can't really capture it that well on the camera for how, just how much how much information, how much knowledge is there. And like I say, it's always good to support local and we've got some products that are award winning locally made. So definitely stop in and check out the cool honeys and this little bee here. <laughs> so that's the end of this week's My Halifax. Once again, we're at Top Bar Honey Bee Co. Uh, it was a lot of information here and it was a really cool experience. Um, I've never, like I say, I've never been close that close to Beehive and Corey knows a hell of a lot about bees and he was telling us all this information that um, I just found so fascinating. It is actually surprisingly easy to look after the bees the way the setup is, so if you are interested in growing your own honey and having more control of basically the quality of honey and making sure it's pure, this is a really easy thing to get into and Corey will definitely walk you through it. So make sure you check out his Facebook page which I'm going to link below. So thank you for watching this video. And if there's any way you think we should make a video, please let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and we'll see you next week. So that's the end of the Fix My Halifax. <laughs> 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 They're working out. Okay.